Hi Leo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your September monthly general reading. This is for the month of September. It's intended to be a general reading. If it's a love reading, then so be it. I am planning on doing love readings for September 1st through the 15th and the 15th through the end of the month as well. This is for Leo. Standing strong. Second card is you. This is you, but this is also you. Okay, this is you standing strong, and then strength comes out. Amazing, which is also the sign of Leo. Okay, it looks like you've maybe you've fought some battles, but you got some rewards. So that looks real good. And, you know, you've used your strength, you've persevered, you've acted with grace, and you, you know, your inner strength is high at this time, but this is your card, so. Um, then we have the five, five of wands, and then we have karma, which is also the judgment card, and the nine of cups. The five of wands is about um, petty little things, you know, pettiness of some sort. So it's just a little bit of strife that is like nonsense. It's nonsense strife, okay? But you're about to have a breakthrough of some sort, okay? You're about to have an awakening with the karma card. That's the judgment card that affects your wishes, okay? Um, I see that you're very satisfied. It looks like you're very satisfied at this time. This is for the month of September for Leo. Okay. Perhaps you feel that we're feeling strife, but it was caused by your own inner demons, okay? Because it, that's what it looks like to me. But I'm going to zoom in just a little bit for you. Sorry, hit the damn thing. I changed out my office chair for my rocking chair because that's what I do. All right. Hmm. Wow. It looks like a pretty good month. It does. It looks like you're moving away from strife to peace. All in all. That's, I mean, that's the main message. Okay, goodbye. No, just kidding. Um, but you are. You, I, it looks like you had some strife. You took some strength, took some confidence and courage. You know, it looks like you had to fight for some things. Perhaps you've um, reaped some rewards because of your strength, okay? Um, I think that change has been happening. I think things are getting a little less chaotic. I think maybe you have met somebody that you have a real, real connection with. If you haven't, you might meet them this month, okay? Because of your beauty, I think that you are shining this month. I think that you are feeling very confident. You're very vibrant. I think your vibration is high. Your intuition is, is high. Um, I think that you're just feeling and looking very um, vibrant at this time. Um, I think that there's been some petty pettiness um, and if not, if it hasn't happened yet, it's, it's coming up where there's like some petty disagreements that, um, that are just petty, um, could be coming from your friends because this is a general reading. There could be a, some petty arguments between friends where somebody gets their, gets hurt. You know, maybe one friend 
you know, says something about the other one or who knows what. But I, I feel like there's some kind of pettiness, pettiness this month amongst friends, okay? So um, I do see that there's a message of love. So somebody has feelings of love for you or you have feelings of love for them. Um, we have the world card, which means that you are about to start something brand new, something new that you um, don't have a lot of expertise in, okay? It's a new chapter, a new long-term commitment with the world card, whereas one phase of your life is over and you're moving on to the next. Okay, so you're moving on to a new phase of life where there is going to be, it looks like, love, you know, in the future. Because we have the world, then we have the love, then we have peace. So there's going to be a lot of love and peace in the future and less responsibilities. So maybe you're going to be letting go of responsibilities or, you know, you could be letting go of some heartache. Okay, you could be letting go of some past heartache that... um has been weighing you down because here we have this is the karma card this is an awakening an epiphany a breakthrough it's a breakthrough through something that has been holding you back all of a sudden you just like boom i don't i don't need to carry that shit anymore i'm gonna let that go that's what that is okay which causes a change all right and brings you peace and love and friendship this right here is crying and moping over it. That's when you have the awakening. There's no reason. Just you can't linger there forever. Okay, because it's affecting your wishes being fulfilled. You know, and you have fought so many battles. You've persevered. You know, you've come so far. Your soul is beautiful and you are so vibrant. The only thing you have left to do is release some past hurt. That's the and, and let go of that responsibility. Stop carrying it on your shoulders. Okay, because change is on the horizon. Peace and love is in the future. And friendship and happiness. But you've been crying over it. It's affecting your wishes being fulfilled. This right here is somebody's holding you back. This is an air sign, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That's fire energy. So the Hierophant card is about all different kinds of things. This is a general reading. This is about traditions. This is about following traditions. This is about also about listening to your inner guide. It's right on top of the high priestess. This tells me that you, your divine presence, you know, whoever you speak to in the divine is giving you messages. Are you listening to your inner guide? Because you are getting messages. Your intuition is right on. This is all also about secrets being revealed. Okay, it looks like there really there really isn't no secrets to have to be had because you already know. You already know the answers. Your inner wisdom and your inner strength and your inner knowing gives you the answers. Okay, there it there is. Um, Full clarity at this time, okay? There's full clarity. So don't doubt your thoughts. Um, the Father of Swords. Clear thinking. That's right here. That's what I was just talking about. This is something very exciting. This is an exciting new discovery something exciting and new could have already happened after some hurt after some heartbreak okay something new and exciting is on the horizon but you've been crying over something 
but you're about to have a wake up call and the excitement is going to come back. So great. Here we have this one again. Okay. Your perseverance. It's been a struggle. It's been a struggle, but you are about, I think you're about to be rewarded for your struggle. All right. There's excitement in your future, a lot of it. A lot of excitement. This is, I see that you need to act on your hunches, okay? Use your passion. Be free-spirited. Um, I think you're also going through a spiritual breakthrough right now, Leo. I do. There's a lot of divine intervention here. There's divine guidance. There's a lot of spiritualness. And I think you're getting a lot of messages that... You have been listening to because I see that your vibration is rising. I think you're you're having a higher vibration and you're fighting for what you believe in, especially this month of September. I think that you will be rewarded for what you put your energy into. So whatever you're passionate about, you will be rewarded for. This is the month of September. I see that you're very excited, excited about something or you're going to be there's a lot of excitement there's a lot of happiness there's a lot of confidence there's a lot of action you know it just looks really good and it looks like you're standing up for what you believe in you're following your path you're taking control this is for leo i think that your thinking is clear and there really isn't any secrets because you know the answers inside your mind. I mean, and it's, you shouldn't be doubting them. I think there is a lot of new growth in your life this month of September. I'm getting you one of my wisdom, my vintage wisdom oracle cards. It's about new growth in September. Spiritual growth for a lot of you. And a lot of you, this is a growth within a relationship because you you let go of past hurt that had been affecting your your wishes being fulfilled because you were still stuck there. There could be something with some friends, you know, that caused some little petty whatever, stupidness. But it comes and goes. gratitude. I'm going to get you one of my whispers of love as well. Then I'm going to zoom it in and I'm going to read them. Love who you are. Perfect. Perfect card for you. And there we go. I just got to get a quick drink. Gratitude. The image portrays a winged diva poised behind a pink rose. A golden crown hovers above her head. In the language of flowers, pink roses are symbols of joy and gratitude. A virtue, a virtue that belongs in the realm of sacred emotion and sovereign status. It has been clinically proven that a thankful life is generally a happier life, and it is easy to forget we often receive a great deal more than we give. The gratitude card invites you to unearth the bounty of your daily life by remembering the many reasons to be grateful. It may be a favorable time to express thanks to a deserving soul who has helped you in some way, or simply as a single signal to count your blessings. The continued practice of this al of this I can't even read it. Alchemical al alchemical I can't pronounce it. I know what it means, but anyway, mm, it's like alchemy. Alchemy virtue can animate forgiveness, heal the past, and bring about a daily sense of wonderment and peace. From a cosmic perspective, to become unconditionally grateful for the adventure of life with all its ups and downs and regardless of outcomes is to merge with the kingdom of God. 
Oh, I gotta say this. Alchemical. Alchemical. The continued practice of this alchemical virtue can animate forgiveness, heal the past, and bring about a daily sense of wonderment and peace. From a cosmic perspective, to become unconditionally grateful for the, for the adventure of life, with all its ups and downs, and regardless of outcomes, is to merge with the kingdom of God. Now we're going to go on to the other one. Love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving all the wonderful things that life has to offer. I'm going to read that one to you too. I'll try to read it better. That other book has such big words. Not that I don't know all. Well, I obviously don't know all the big words. So anyway, love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person, deserving all of the wonderful things that life has to offer. Be your own advocate. Believe in yourself. Love who you are, and the energy of self-love will help you realize your dreams. When was the last time you gave yourself a pat on the back or acknowledged that you love yourself? Working on a good relationship with yourself will enable you to have a positive relationship with others. Love who you are. <laughs> well, that's a good one. That was for you, Leo. September 2017. I am going to do a love reading for, you know, the beginning of September and the end of September as soon as I can.